y'all, one day I'm gonna get on here with makeup and my hair done. Y'all gonna be like, who is that? But <laughs> until then, I have one old video of me doing makeup. Y'all can go watch that. <laughs> welcome back to my channel my name is alexis if you're new to my channel today's video is going to be about a nursing school update i'm going to talk to y'all about how i did the first semester did i pass did i fail was it hard was it easy i'm just gonna go ahead and go all into it and just let y'all know i know i haven't been on here in a while i really just been enjoying this christmas break like <laughs> i just been enjoying not doing nothing just nothing not having to worry about nothing just being pure enjoyment but if you're interested in this video then stick around i also might give some tips at the end of this video um for incoming nursing students or i might make it another video so let's go okay so first semester is over <laughs> i'm so happy y'all low-key like <sighs> it wasn't that bad Let's be honest. It wasn't that bad. Um, I had five classes. So, I had my main class, which is my lecture. Um, let's, let me say I ended the semester with three A's and two B's. I almost had four A's and one B. So, I did pretty good. You know, it's trying to toot my own horn, but I did really good. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I had lecture which was your main course um which you go through every week and it's just you know just your lecture course um it was pretty pretty mm, it was okay i made an 84 in that class then i had my skills class which you do your um skills in so this semester we did ivs we did head to toe assessment foley catheters we did med administration and we did um it's one more, but I can't remember. You got three tries to pass. If you, don't pass it, if you pass it on the first time, you get 100. If you pass it on the second time, you get like an 85. And if you pass it on the third time, you get like a 78. So I think at least two of mine I passed the first time, and two of them I had to do it twice. So yeah, um, that class, we had clinicals. Um, my clinicals was pretty cool. My clinical instructor was so cool. I love her. But my clinicals was pretty cool for the most part. I did it at like a local hospital, small hospital. So I didn't see that much. But for the most part, I mean, you can just take it for what you get and just keep it moving. Um, I had one online class, um, which was called Professional um development i think or something like that and it was just really about nursing um leadership and you know how to handle situations in the hospital and stuff like that and then um my last class was another class and it was um a short class so when that class ended the other online class started so those two classes were we didn't have them at the same time so yeah, so I had five classes and I did that. Um, I don't know y'all, it was, I had a really good first semester, which is a reason why I'm pretty scared. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm really nervous and anxious about second semester because I had a pretty good first semester. So I'm like, ugh. So um, for my program, after you, um, after you do your finals, you have to take a HESI exit exam every semester. And you have to make a certain grade. Um, you only get two chances to make it, I mean to take it. And you have to make a, well, a certain score, like I said. And I passed mine on the first try. Thank you, God. And so, um, yeah, baby, after that, I was done. <laughs> I was done after that. I didn't have nothing else to do. I was just too lit. Like, I just really had a a bum first semester and i'm just thankful and i thank god first and foremost because if you watch my previous videos i have filmed nursing school before and i will put it up here somewhere so you would click it and go look at it but i'm just thankful and thank god for this um second chance and for his grace and mercy so yes um i am going to second semester and i'm just so happy i'm actually ready for school to start back because i've been a little bored i um 
was applying for jobs the whole month of December, y'all. When I tell you the whole month of December, I have been applying for jobs. I didn't get no job until December 29th, and I got a job at um, a hospital. I know. <laughs> that is about 10 minutes away from me but i don't start until um like a month from now that's pretty much it that's pretty much my update for y'all i just wanted to update y'all on that i know i haven't been on youtube um but uh i've just been enjoying this break and it's really getting down to i think we have two weeks left before school starts so i'm really gonna try to get, start getting back in the motion um next week or maybe towards the end of this week um i do have a couple of things to do before classes start like we have to we have a couple of assignments that we need to do so um yeah i'm gonna start back on that try to start back on getting into studying and you know just getting back into the motion like i'm not gonna be able to just uh lay down all day anymore <laughs> um i have got my second semester um schedule already because we did do registration and for the most part I have three classes it that's it like we have five last semester i don't have three well actually i have four because um i have a prereq that i didn't take before getting in the nursing program so i have to take it now i thought i was gonna be able to take it in the summertime but i'm taking micro so y'all pray for me um so yeah um so i have that and then i have uh my lecture class and then i have another class which is online but it doesn't start until march so it's pretty and then clinicals which we get to go to the bigger hospitals this semester so i'm excited about that so yeah i only have class one year i mean one year one day out of the week and then i have micro online and i go to clinicals every friday and then um the job that i'm working is prn so you know how that is so yeah that's pretty much it y'all that was my little fast update on the semester um i hope everybody had a happy holiday and I hope all my nursing students out there, y'all have rested this break and, you know, took some time to spend with your friends and your family and, you know, just take a breather. Because we don't get to take breathers sometimes. Like, it's like sometimes we just don't get to, we don't have to worry about a test or an assignment or a quiz or paper. Like, it's always something. So, this break has been well needed. I mean, they say Kim and Kanye getting a divorce. The girl in the shade room came out to see. But um, one more thing I wanted to talk to y'all about. I did start an Instagram that is for nursing students and nurses. Um, it's called The Purposeful Students. And I would really appreciate if you would go like my um, Instagram page or follow it. Um, it's just a very inspirational, motivational Instagram page. And what I'm looking for, I want it to be somewhere where um black women and black men can come and connect with each other network each other get motivation inspiration tips it's you know just spread positivity because there is not enough representation of black people in healthcare. so i just wanted to create a space where that that's what it is so um it's called the purposeful student and i'm just going to show y'all it's just um um it's just an instagram and it has you know different quotes and um i ask different questions and you know just get feedback from nursing students and different nurses and it's actually really growing so i really appreciate if y'all go um follow me on my page and just show some show some support and um yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. And I'll put the Instagram down below so y'all can follow me. That's pretty much it for this video. I do have a couple of tips for incoming nursing students. So if you want to see those tips also, then stick around. I have about four or five tips for y'all. Um, I can do a video video, but I'm just going to give y'all a couple of tips since you're already here. But if you don't want to see that, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Okay, y'all. So my tip number one is to um get organized 
organized organized organized i'm not the most organized person but you do have to kind of be somewhat organized um just at least have somewhere where you can write down when your assignments are due if anything just have somewhere where you can write down oh i'm sorry write down where your assign when your assignments are due and for what class just get something like that number two Find out how you like to study. That is so important to figure out your study, the best way for you to study, for you to study and retain information. Figure it out because um, if you're not passing, you need to switch it up and do something differently because that method you're using is not working. So please figure out ways to study, different ways to study, ways that help you retain information you will be really good at um, test taking if you, you know, figure those things out. Tip number three, get focused. Like, it's just that simple. You have to be focused. Like, this is not easy. This is a hard task to complete nursing school. So just get focused. Remember your main goal. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep tunnel vision, whatever, whatever, whatever. Get it together. Get focused. Tip number four, make friends. Like, make you some friends in nursing school like it's hard because we're online but at least when you go to clinicals you can make friends it's kind of how i did i the people i do talk to i met them from um clinicals so kind of make you some friends where y'all can kind of talk about stuff um and kind of maybe study together or facetime you know just make some kind of friends because it really would be helpful i know right now like when I did nursing school the first time, I made like friends because we were in class every day and it was really helpful. And those are some of the, my good friends. But um, now since it's online, I know it's kind of harder, but um, you know, just find a way to make you a couple of friends that you can text and you know, find out what they're doing or how they're doing and stuff like that. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much it. Those are my little tips that I threw in there to help you out with um, your incoming semester to nursing school. I wish you nothing but the best. Um, and thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and stick around. Leave a comment, leave a question, send me a message, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll see you in my next video.